In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use system.io to create your first sales funnel or landing page as well as uh, collect the email addresses from your leads and send out email campaigns entirely for free in system.io. If let's say you want to know the step-by-step -step guide on how to use system.io beginner guide, remember to stay to the end. System.io is free for you to use. So if let's say you haven't had an account, feel free to sign up at the link in the description box down below. So now when you log into your system.io dashboard, these are the few things that you're going to see. So everything here is pretty simple. So since right now we want to create landing page, you can just hop over to the funnels in system.io. All right. So once you go over to funnel, so now I'm just going to click create funnel in system.io. All right, so there are a few options here. So I wouldn't be worrying too much for it. So assuming that I want to capture leads, right? For this purpose, I'm just going to select build an audience. It's actually for an opt-in where you want to collect email addresses, all right? If let's say this is this page, this funnel that you're building is meant to sell, uh, you can click sell, but then not to worry too much, we are going to go, uh, go through with you together. So now I'm just going to build an opt-in form. So I'm just going to select build an audience, right? So uh, you can select the currency in system.io. So I'm just going to stick to US dollar, right? So now I'm just going to cl click create. You can give this funnel a name. So this is june.co test funnel. All right. So once I done created, so you will be presented with a lot of different templates that you can use. So let me just put myself here. <laughs> okay. So there are tons of templates that you can use. So uh, you can just pick one that is relevant for you. I think since a lot of us, we want to start collecting um, email addresses, maybe for yourself, you want to be able to offer a free ebook, a free checklist, and then in exchange for an email. So today we are going to build a funnel that is meant for leak mag um, Lead magnet up in pages and then after that i'm going to show you guys how we can automate automate sending um the ebook for example to your audience as well as soon as they subscribe to it so now we are just going to select this template okay in system.io you can also click preview if let's say you want to see how the template in system.io um, looks like so i'm just going to select this so as you guys can see, because it's a lead magnet uh, funnel where I'm going to give free ebook in exchange for the email addresses and later on, I'm going to send out an email to let them uh, to see, to get the free ebook, right? So that is only two pages as of now, but then do not worry. You can add a lot of different steps very easily in order to upsell or downsell in system.io. So now since this is a squeeze page, so this is, I'm just going to call free ebook squeeze page. Give it a name and then you can just change the path over here okay so you can change anything that you want here okay since if you are having a free account in system.io um you can you will probably have a url path is system.io all right so how to rename this um of you probably see a lot of weird character over here so what you can do is that you can hop over um to your site when you hop over to here, just click settings in system.io. Okay. And then you will see a bunch of stuff that you can set up here, which when you scroll um, to the bottom, you will see like custom domain in system.io. All right. So what you can do is that you can, because now you're using free account in system.io, you can then just click this edit button in system.io and then just change it to whatever name that you want and hit on save. All right, so now I'm just going to change back to June, okay? So this is just to show you guys of where to change domains. And let's say you want to add custom domain and you know what, a free system.io account can also allow you to add a domain. So you just need to click on add domain and then just follow instruction over here. But let us just focus this um, system.io tutorial in building a squeeze page. If let's you want to know how to set up this, watch the other next tutorial, okay? So now let us go back. I'm just going back to my funnel that I just did a testing just now and reopen this. Okay. So let us reopen. Okay. We were at the steps that we, we will, you can just include the path, anything. Okay. So let's say this is free ebook. So once you have done that, please remember to hit on save. Okay. And then now we want to edit the entire funnel. So just click on edit page. Okay. 
adding in page is very easy in system.io you can actually just um drag and drop like just give you guys an example you can drag let's say it's a headline right you can just drag this headline to the places that you want it to be okay let's say it's here and then you can see there are two level uh, three levels so the biggest level is called section you can move up and down the section very easily can you guys see that so for example this is another section that we have you want to move it up and i'm just going to move up okay so the largest box is called section followed by there is a yellow uh sorry blue color box so you can see here blue color here is our row this is the largest and now you have a blue color and then you have the orange color so if you can see every boxes that they have they will follow by few buttons that is called this is called settings right when you click on the settings that's where you're able to change uh the size you want to link it up okay you want to link this okay maybe you only want to link the minutes you can just link it and then input the url that you want to link to uh for example i'm just going to simply link it to my website okay my website is junlo.co okay as an example so once you've done that you can just click enter and then um you can pretty set like for example if let's say this is the image that you want to change your own you can click on this it's called image and then i want you to actually uh, have a check on when you click on it you will see something pop up on the left hand side where you can change the image right so what you can do is that you can click this button just drag and drop your file or upload your file inside uh let me just take one okay hmm. all right i found my file just select it and then while it's being uploaded that's where i'm just going to select this free 30 day live video ideas um ebook that i have so and click on insert and this image will be instantly changed so whatever that you want to change uh, the simple tip is that you just need to hover over to the boxes in system.io and then just hit on to the settings so let's say you have you've been loving this boxes and then you click on the settings you have changed all the color color of the font let's say this color i want to change it into red color because just now i was highlighting this and if let's say you want to change the entire thing you can just highlight and just another color as well all right okay so what you can do is that you what you love this color that you set right you don't want to build things entirely scratch on your own you can just keep on this duplicate in system.io all right so uh this is one of the fastest ways that you can do that it's pretty simple so let me just delete it so let's say you really love that and you will know that you'll be using it a lot of times you can actually save this element so um this one is called hating junlo.co love it <laughs> just said uh, just something that you're able to remember uh you're going to create this block and hit on create All right, it's pretty simple. So once I created the block, it's something like my templates, okay? So now where do I bring out a template? It's pretty easy. On the left-hand side, you can see that is this element where we drag and drop the um, simple images, videos, text, and headline. You can see on the right-hand side, that is this block. I'm just going to head over to my block, all right? And then just go click my block and you'll see your block is here. So you can then drag and drop very easily so it's very easy for you to create the kind of like templates that you always use and you always love okay so now i'm just going to delete the extra extra block that i did so now all this is pretty nice so it's pretty easy uh okay the important thing for you let us go through to the left hand side element that what are the elements that you'll be using most of the time i think text and headline should be explained in, uh, later on so let's say you want to add like some bullet listing here so just give an example okay i'm just going to drag this bullet list on here okay and then just need to double click and then just type anything that you want if this thing you want to actually um just to bold it in system.io all right just select the wording that you want to bold and just adjust accordingly and this is to insert the link right so whenever you insert the link remember to input the https as well all right and then you can insert to the link that you want and then hit on save so these are pretty easy 
um, to know that. And then let's say you over here, you want to add on another images, right? So just drag this image at the very bottom here. Okay. And then once you have done, so what you need to do, double click here, remember, or you can click on the settings. On the left hand side, you will pop up this image and that's where you're able to select again and upload the images that you want. And then just hit on OK. So very simple, right? <laughs> All right. And let's say for your image and you want to open a URL or uh, you can actually just paste the URL over here. So I'm just going to paste it to my website, link.junlo.co slash free30. So for those of you, if let's say you've been tracking this tutorial and you want to download this free 30 day live video ideas, video live content ideas that I have, you can hop over to the link that I show you guys just now, link.junlo.co slash free30. Okay. And then let's say someone, you want someone, whenever they click on this image, you want them to open a new window, you can just click on open a new window. Okay. So all this is pretty simple. So once you've done, remember to hit on save. Uh, this is to create block, but then I'm not going to create block. Just hit on back or you can hit on save changes to save your changes here. Okay, so let's say you want to um, have a video. So same thing, you can just drag this video element to the place that you want. So let's say it's here. Okay, and double click here or click the settings button that I told you guys. All right, you can then, when you double click, you can actually see um, that is a URL for the, for the YouTube. You can insert your URL for the YouTube over here and you can toggle off on and off whether you want this video to auto play in system.io or no. And you want to see if you want to um, show the controls of the YouTube in the system.io, you can show the control on or control off. Okay, so um, there are some settings over here that you can check it out. So this is pretty pretty easy and yeah you can even have a column layout like for example whenever i'm designing here right you can see uh there's only one um column right so let's say you want to have a better design you want to have like uh two columns so what you need to do is all three columns maybe you want to showcase the testimonials you can just drag and drop this three column over here and inside each right that's where you're able to add element like for example, I've added this um, column here, uh, column here. So you can actually adjust the width. So sometimes we want to showcase like a photo on the left hand side and then followed by a text on the right hand side. Okay, so what you need to do is now go to this um, this one. Okay, you will see like you can drag element over here. Let's say I want to have an image in here, left hand side followed by some text on the right hand side. So you just need to drag and drop the image on system IO and drop it in the relevant place that you want. Okay, over here, I'm just going to put some text. So I'm just going to drag the text over here and input here. Okay, so same thing, double click. You can change the, uh, or you can click the settings. Just um, change the image that you want, the URL, and then just change the text. So adding, the, adding it is super, super simple and wouldn't be tough for you. So just assume that you have done, um, make necessary changes. Let us come to the forum. All right, so here that is uh, this template that I give you, uh, I asked you guys to select already have a pre-built form. All right, so let's say you prefer uh, to have to have extra that you want to know their last name. So remember, we have this duplicate function in system.io. You can just click this duplicate function in system.io. All right, and then because originally over here, it's recording the first name, right? Can you guys see that when I double click, on the left hand side, you will see like, you can select the input type that you want, All right? So since I want to collect like, this should be the last name. So you can just select last name in system.io or alternatively, you want to collect phone number, you can just select phone number in system.io. So in this case, I'm just going to select last name. But usually in most cases, my suggestion is that you allow your client to, to just put first name is sufficient. Don't let them to fill up as much as things as possible. And then they will be like, oh, I'm not going to give you that info. All right. So um, the email, they have that already. So let's say you want to move this email to the up top part. You can just move it up. All right. Or you can just uh, move it. All right. You can just manually move it. You can uh, do that as well. All right. So let's say I'm just going to move it to the top. All right, can you guys see that I already changed the places? So now the button. So maybe this button, it's not the color that you want. So very easy. Whenever you want to change any settings, just hover over and then click on settings. 
All right, and then you'll be able to see few things over here, right? Uh, you are able to see um, the typography. You want to have a font size, all right? And you want to change the font, all right? And let's say you don't like the background color to be green and you want it to be any other color, you can just set the color that you want over here in the background color, okay? And you can also set the paddings, like for example, <laughs> just to show you guys how it works. Um, you can type in the number over here in system.io as well. All right, and then if let's say you have, want to have a rounded corner, you can just hit on the settings here, okay? So now uh, you guys know uh, how you should change. So I just want to go through the important steps here. So uh, you need to, for every button in system.io, you need to tell the button what to do, all right? So this button, you want them to be, whenever they hit on the information, you want them to be able to send the form, right? And then you want them to, after they click it, you where you want them to go, you probably want them to, there are three steps, uh, three, three, sorry, three options. So the first one is to go, go to the next step in your funnel, right? The other one is to go to the custom URL that you customize. It doesn't have to be inside the funnel. So in most cases, what we are going to do is that we are going to go through the next step. So which means that whenever your subscribers, uh, whenever your audience actually go through your website, they you fill in your first name, last name, we want this thing to be sent to the form, right? And then we, when they hit in, the next thing they are going to see is the next step in the funnel in the system.io. So this is what we meant, all right? So uh, you can just do a, a lot of different changes over here. And then once you have done that, just hit on save changes. So these are the things that you are going to play around. And guess what? We In the next uh, video, what we are going to go through is that I'm going to go show you guys, since you already fully designed it in a very nice way, I'm going to show you how you can then send your first email whenever your um, audience put in their name and email, how you are going to set the email and send this ebook to them automatically and let the system.io to send it for you automatically and take care for you. So remember to stay tuned to the next video.